About, uh, I'd say about 20 minutes ago, I received an email uh, to my personal account from a bank that I don't bank with telling me my account has been compromised and that I need to click on this link immediately in order to change my password and to ensure that the bad guys can't get in. Obviously, this is a phishing attack. And obviously, if I would have clicked on that link and if I did belong to that bank, I would be asked to enter in my existing credentials, at which point in time, the bad guys would have access to my account. This made me think about how important it is to ensure the integrity of emails that enter into your organization. So I thought I'd put together this impromptu Dark with Mark webcast uh, just as a, a means to um, ensure that as an organization, you're protected. With inside of the Microsoft suite, uh, we have a product called Microsoft Windows, uh, oh, sorry, Office uh, Advanced Threat Protection. This product is designed for, to help with this exact type of scenario. What it does is twofold. It looks for malicious attachments and macros that exist within inside of those attachments. And the second piece is a co component called safe links. Safe links would have caught this particular uh, malicious attempt at, provide, at um, phishing and would have prevented me from accidentally clicking on this account or uh, on this link. So let's talk about um, Windows. Uh, let's talk about safe links for a quick second here. The way that it works is that every product that comes in or every email that comes in through the system, and it, it, it's an add-on to your existing Office 365 infrastructure, there is a what's called a URL rewrite. In other words, the, the URL that was sent in the attachment is then rewritten so that Microsoft becomes a proxy uh, scanning all content before it actually hits the website. The benefit of this is that sometimes what attackers will do is they will have legitimate URLs that are sent out that have no payload on the other end or there's no malicious component to them. And they do this on purpose because they're aware that a lot of products out there will do a once-only scan of the link. And then once it's scanned and determined to be safe, then there's no further scans required. Well, Microsoft takes a slightly different approach. It scans it every single time the link is clicked. And this way, if the website or the site where that link is headed to changes and there's a payload put on it or some sort of malicious code on that website, it's caught. One of the benefits of safe links is once the URL rewrite has taken place, it doesn't matter who you send it to, whether they use Office 365 or not, that same level of protection is being award, afforded to anybody that uh, is using that uh, URL. Obviously, you can see the safety and the security in this. It's a designed to be a endpoint or an end user um, solution. It helps with um, accidental clicking of links or even if um, some end users are not as well uh, informed as to the danger of clicking on links. This will help your organization uh, protect yourself from that. The second component which is really also really important is uh, the safe attachments component. Advanced Threat Protection offers the ability to be able to scan inside of documents, in particular looking for macros that may have malicious code. It will examine those macros and it will determine whether or not there is something malicious about it. And when it, if it detects that, there are several actions that can be taken place, uh, including flagging, blocking, redirecting, um, that particular attachment to people who or to, uh, let's say, IT, for example, so that they can validate whether or not that attachment should come through. Safe attachments is so important today uh, simply because of the fact that we do a lot of document sharing. You know, our your Exchange server, believe it or not, is probably still the number one uh, document repository system. Uh, it has been for years and years and years. Um, and when I say exchange, I also mean exchange online. When you think about the fact that people still tend today to share documents back and forth between each other via email versus other methodologies. Um, if you think about SharePoint, 
it probably the document probably started off in the email before the final draft was created and put up in SharePoint. So it's imperative that attachments are scanned, that attachments are ensured to be clean. And Windows Defender ATP is a, sorry, Office 365 ATP is a, um, a fantastic solution to help show up your borders. It's easy to deploy and uh, there's minimal impact to uh, the user community. So if you're looking for a means to be able to really protect the number one way of infiltration at this point in time, which is through some sort of um, generally email-based targeted attack, then this is your solution. I, I, I can't recommend it highly enough. The only other product that I'll ever say is a default, no matter what your environment is, is Microsoft's uh, or introducing MFA. Uh, the combination of the two will put in excess of 90% of all attacks um, down. The, the, the attackers will stop simply because it is too difficult to get into your environment and there's easier fish out there. And the name of the game truly is being able to tire them out and not want to make the investment in attacking you. Anyways, this is another episode of Going Dark with Mark. I hope you have a wonderful day.